come around to the front of your hammock, just grabbing your little world edge. You should be asked to make sure that your hammock is open and not folded in any way. We're using our open hammock towel for that. So let's tuck in down in your hammock. You're going to turn to face the front of the room. You're going to place your thumbs to the side. You're going to press down to create tension as you slide the thumbs out wide. And then reach back for six handfuls. Then go ahead and step back to your plumb line. Bring the elbows in, pressing down, rising to the balls of the feet. Lift a knee and go ahead and scoot into your hammock. Pulling the hammock to the back of the knees. We're going to reach up to the left, uh, the right side. Taking a stacked grip, sliding the hands down to the center of your chest. You're going to lean your left shoulder into the hammock as you press away, creating space for your kick switch, kicking that right leg up and over. Bringing the hammock to the back of the knees, reaching up if you need to, just straighten up, just tugging. Coming into our saddle, our saddle pranayama, and go ahead and place the back of the hands on the knees, taking a mudra if you choose. Keep length in the spine, slightly dip your chin towards your chest, closing the eyes, just bring your attention to your breath. Breathing in and out of the nose if possible. Finding presence here, relaxing the body, drawing the shoulders away from your ears. Bringing your awareness to your breath and your body. Notice where you may be holding some tension and breathe through those spaces. You may want to take a moment to set an intention. Breath in, you're going to lift the arms up towards the ceiling. And on the exhale, you're going to drop that left arm down, reaching the right arm up. Left hand's going to come towards your ankle, just opening up the chest. Take another breath in, use your core to come back up to center. Taking that right arm down by that right ankle, lifting the left arm up high. Once again, using your core to come back up to center. You're going to grab that hammock in front of your chest. You're going to bring your knees together. Straighten the legs, pointing the toes. Push that hammock away. And then bending the right knee, you're going to kick that right leg up and back to the front of the room. Using your left hand to grab the left side, we're going to wiggle our way to the center. And then high-fiving the back of the hammock, you're going to slide your thumbs down to create your back belt wrap. Make sure you press that hammock down to your sacrum, turning the wrists in, squeezing the elbows together, pressing the shoulders down. You're going to round the spine just enough to help hold, you, hold the fabric there. You're going to take the heel of a foot, and you're going to use it to push the hammock down to the ankles. Make sure that you take your heels out. Pressing down through the legs, keeping that tension, start to round the spine as you lower back. And then sliding the hands up and into that triangle of ease. Pressing the legs down, keeping tension in the hammock. We're going to straddle those legs wide, coming to our started star. Keep in mind tension versus flat here. We're going to keep that hammock nice and tight here. You can hold on here if you need to, just pressing the legs out wide. Release the hands if possible. Relax the spine, maybe shake the head side to side. Always know you can grab that hammock to hold on if you need to. From here we're going to reach up to the chest. Reach up and grab your hammock. Bring the legs back together to your lever. Take the chin to your chest coming up nice and slow. We're going to bend the knees. 
We're gonna leave our hands behind coming into our floating child pose. Make sure that hammock is behind the knees as you fold over. Inhaling up one vertebrae at a time, head coming up last. We're gonna reach those hands up high, grabbing the hammock and just wiggle your way out. Bring your feet back to the plumb line. And then we'll slide our hands down. We're gonna bring that hammock to our back wrap, right underneath the shoulder blades. Keep that hammock at tension. Trust the hammock as you bend the knees, leaning back, pressing the hips forward, keeping the core engaged. We slide those hands up and we're gonna take our toes out, heels in. Come into first position, pressing the hips forward, straightening the legs. We take a little rocky Achilles stretch as we sway side to side. Trying to keep the heels down on the floor and together. And then coming back to the center, we're going to walk our feet out wide. We're going to bend the knees. And we're going to take our cactus or goddess arms. Elbows bend, squeeze the shoulder blades together, inhale, lift the chest. And as we exhale, we're going to rotate those arms down, come to the balls of the feet, coming into your Poseidon. Inhaling the arms up, dropping the heels, Triton. And one more time, rotating the arms down, coming onto the balls of the feet for your Poseidon. Dropping the heels, reaching the arms out to the side, we're going to straighten the legs, coming to our X lean, turn the toes forward. And then we're going to take our gyros, going to the left, clockwise motion. On the count of three. One, two, three. Press those hips forward, coming onto the toes. Two more. Last one. Go ahead and stop in the back. This time, reach your hands up high. Adjust that hammock, make sure it's underneath the shoulder blades, leaning back. It's more about leaning than it is holding on, keeping those hips square to the front of the room. We're gonna take our gyros counterclockwise on three. One, two, three. And last one. Coming back, take your toes in, come into an hourglass. Just bend the knees, shifting your weight forward. And then just press back and rock forward. Getting that nice stretch in the ankles. And as you press back, just turn your heels in. You're going to slide that hammock down, leaning back a little bit more. Take a breath in. And then reach back. Inhale back to center, holding on to the hammock, coming into our foot bridge. We're going to start to slide the hands down. So you can keep holding on to the hammock if you're supported foot bridge. If you're coming into the full supported bridge, you can release the hands, dropping them down to the floor, opening up the heart, trunk of the body. Take deep breaths. And then start to bring the hands up as you bring your chin to your chest, reaching for your hammock. Coming up nice and slow, bring that hammock back to your back wrap, dropping the hips, bringing the back of the hands to the forehead to come into your chillax. Taking a few rocks. Pressing back, reach those hands up high. And just take a body roll, pressing the hips forward, rolling all the way up. We're gonna use economy of motion, getting that hammock around to the front of our bodies. Taking a step back, hammocks over the plumb line. We're going to place the arch of our right foot in the hammock. It's arch. Crap. With the hands right, the chest hips square towards the front of the room. You're going to keep the elbows in at your sides as you pull back on the hammock. You're going to straighten that leg. Really squaring off those hips. Flexing the foot will help increase the stretch. And you can pull on the left side a little bit more. You should feel that a little more in your IT band. It's a really great stretch if you have sciatic issues. Just breathe through it. Be sure not to lock the knee. You can keep a slight bend in the knee if your hamstrings are tight. Take about two more breaths here. How you doing, Emma? Good. And go ahead and bend that knee. We're gonna reach up high, grabbing the hammock. We're gonna take a step up to switch feet. Left foot's coming in. And the right foot's coming down. Same thing, make sure those hips are squared off to the front of the room, slide the hands down to your chest, elbows squeeze into the body. And then extend that leg as you pull back on the hammock. Make sure your spine is nice and straight. Make sure you're not leaning back. 
We'll go ahead and pull on that right side. You can bring your foot a little bit more over towards the right. Take about two more breaths here. Bring that leg back to center. You're going to bend the knee. We're going to hook the back of our knee in the hammock. We're going to slide our hands up high, shifting our weight forward, keeping our hips square to the front of the room, pressing that right heel down, coming into our stag stretch. So you can continue to hold on here. As long as you're keeping your core engaged, hips squared off to the front, pressing the back of that knee into the hammock, keeping that tension. You do have the opportunity to let go. Keep your hands close to the hammock if you're unsure, so you can grab if you need it. This allows you to get a little deeper into the stretch, using more of your core to keep balance. Then inhale the arms up, reaching up high. You have an opportunity here to take your royal stag, just leaning back. You can always stay upright if you need to. Lifting the chin back to your chest. We're going to pull back on that hammock. We're going to slide that hammock down to our ankle. Once again, keeping that tension, sliding the hands back up, holding on to your basic grip on high. We're going to lean back, keeping that tension in the hammock. So this is not about pulling down to raise yourself up. It's about keeping the weight in the hammock. We're going to switch feet. On three, one, two, three. Right leg in, left leg out. Keeping those hips square, bend that knee, coming back into the stag on the other side. Leaning forward, pressing that left heel down. Remember to keep the core engaged. If you choose to let go here, feel free to do so. And inhaling the arms up, your opportunity for that royal stag. Leaning back, deepening that stretch. You should feel that more in your hip flexor on that left side. Slowly bringing the head back up. We're going to shift our weight back, sliding our hands down, and taking the leg out of the hammock. So from here, we're going to come into our tree pose. So we want to take an arch trap, or an instep wrap, actually, taking the right foot in on the instep. You're going to keep the hammock in the center of the foot so your toes are out and your heel is out. <coughs> Hop forward to your plumb line. You're going to take your right arm through, taking a reverse grip. So elbow's gonna be out to the side. Left hand through as well, same thing. So protecting the knee, you're gonna pull with the arms as you gently press it, the foot into the hammock so it doesn't put too much pressure on the knee. We're gonna pull up and we're gonna bring the soles of the feet together. Make sure your feet are lined up together and your knees are not on the front side of the hammock. And then pressing our hips forward, start to shift your weight forward. You guys ready for your front belt? Yeah. Deep tissue massage. Mm -hmm. So try to keep the chest lifted. You're going to rotate that right arm down. Elbow stays out to the side. Keep that thumb up as high as you can so it doesn't get stuck. Keeping that chest lifted, we're going to do the same thing with the other arm. And then from here, you're going to start to shift your weight forward. See if you can slide those hands up and come to parallel position. With the arms evenly placed in the hammock on both sides, lift the chest. Should feel a pretty big opening in the hips here. And then when you're ready, start to slide the hands down. And then releasing the hands when you're ready. Remember, this is a deep tissue massage in the hips. Breathe through it. Your hips need it. Our bodies aren't designed to sit as much as they do, so we build up a lot of tightness in the hips. Then go ahead and take your hands behind the back. Monitor your resistance here. Lift into your shoulders. You're going to clasp, uh, interlace the fingers, and you're going to take your pointer fingers out to touch, rolling the shoulders towards the ears and then down the back, squeezing the shoulder blades together, extend the arms towards the ceiling first, and then start to lower the arms to wherever you can comfortably go. Take a big breath in, and let it out. Two more breaths. Start to reach those hands back up towards the sacrum or towards the ceiling, and then release that bind, releasing the hands back down to the floor. 
Coming up, hands place spin is really important here. So you're going to make sure that when you bring your hands up, your thumbs are on the inside, and you're wrapping your fingers around the hand. And keeping your elbows bent. You're gonna, well, you're going to bend the elbows. <laughs> bend the elbows, lift the chest. Keeping the elbows out to the side. Don't try to maneuver them any other way. That's going to catch you. Nice job, ladies. <laughs> All right, you're going to reach the left arm up and the right arm up, and you're going to extend the legs coming to an L-sit. From the L-sit, we're going to press our hips forward, arching the back. Now come all the way up, stay right there, and then come back down to your L-sit. Starting a little workout here. And then press those hips up. Coming back to our L-sit. Kicking the left foot out, we forgot to do our tree. Back to that instep wrap, you're going to bend that right knee out to the right side, so that outward rotation. And as your foot comes in, you have an option to um, either bring the sole of the foot to the inside of the left thigh, coming onto the ball of your left foot, or you can come to your half lotus if that's accessible to you, flexing the foot. Taking the arms back through, we're going to take that reverse grip again. And then rising up to the balls of the feet, we're finding balance here. Core's engaged, spine is straight. Make sure you're pressing evenly into the ball of the foot, and then releasing the arms, coming to our tree pose. Another breath here. And then inhale the arms back up. In that reverse grip, pressing the foot into the hammock, pulling with the arms, we're going to switch feet. So you're going to bring that left foot in and take that right foot out. Keep that instep wrap. So establish where you'd like to place the foot. Pressing evenly into the ball of that right foot. Core is nice and tight. Release the arms back into your tree on the other side. Stay here for three breaths. Shoulders are down, away from the ears. Next inhale brings the arms back up. And then take those hands back to basic grip as we extend that left leg. Press that foot into the hammock, place that right foot back in. And we're going to bend the knees and we're just going to come to a bum wrap. So the hammock's going to be right at the crease of the bum. Get another deep tissue massage, back of the thighs. So we're going to roll down to the back of the knees. And then lift the hips, rolling back up to the crease on your backside. Seen that a few times. It's a love-hate thing. <laughs> <laughs> love it. <laughs> One more time. And then take it all the way up. Go ahead and bring those feet to the floor. Let's go for a nice little stretch for the shoulders. So as we step forward, you're going to take your arms out to the sides. You're going to bring them behind you. And then find your jazz hands. So hands are going to come out the bottom. Keeping the hammock underneath the elbows, you're going to lean forward. And you're going to wrap those hands through one more time, coming into our Houdini wrap. Interlace the fingers, lift the chest. Monitor your resistance here again with those shoulders. Take a step forward. So know that you can stop anywhere along the way in these stretches. They can be pretty intense for the shoulders, so listen to your body. You're going to start to bend the knees, keeping the chest lifted. Head is up the whole entire time. So if this is where your deepest stretch is, stay here. This is our swim start. If you feel like you can take it a little bit further, start to shift your weight forward, dropping the hips, coming into your ski jumper. Core stays engaged, hips pressed down. You can always bring the hips back if you need to. Then starting to bend those knees, coming back to our swim start. Staying here, if your shoulders can handle it, if you've got the flexibility, you do have the option of coming down to the knees. If you come down here and find out it's too much for your shoulders, just come right back up to your swim start. And then shifting the hips back if possible. And breathing. Start to feel a little bit of blood rush here. Got that tourniquet effect of the hammocks restricting your blood flow. So when we come out of this, you're going to have a really nice, warm blood rush. Taking one foot forward, coming onto the ball of your foot, and then the other. Start to rise up, straightening the legs first, lifting the hips. And then once again, one vertebrae at a time, head comes up last, roll it up nice and slow. 
Ooh, and release those hands. <sighs> so feel that warmth, just give yourself a little hug. Bring our shoulders nice and warm. Good. All right, so we're gonna take a step forward, away from your plumb line. We're gonna lift our left arm up towards the ceiling for balance, staring straight ahead. We're gonna take our right hand, we're gonna grab our right ankle. This is our flamingo mount. And then reaching that left arm forward, we're gonna prop that right foot in the hammock. Once you have that foot there, bring those knees together, taking the hands up, looking for your reverse grip, finding your hammock back there. We're gonna hop back to our plumb line. You got it. All right, coming into our Pegasus, shifting the weight back, keeping those hips squared off. Nice quad stretch. So you can keep the left knee bent or you can straighten that leg. One more breath here, or stay here longer if your quad needs it. Then pulling back up, bringing those knees together. We're gonna take the arms out to the sides. Shifting our weight back, make sure your knee does not go past your toes, either over the heel or just slightly in front of the heel. Finding balance. <laughs> you got this, Emma. Then we're gonna take our hands to the floor. We're gonna take our left knee down. Shifting our weight back for just a moment, coming onto the forearms. You guys ready for some planks? <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. Shoulders are warm. So make sure your hands are about shoulder width distance apart. Shifting your weight forward, make sure the shoulders are stacked over the wrists. Pressing the palms into the hammock. Press the pads of the fingers down, just activating the knuckles. Get a nice, strong, solid base. Starting to push that floor away, you're gonna straighten that right leg in the hammock, keeping that tension. Engaging the core, you're gonna bring that left leg up. So we wanna make sure here in our plank, we're not arching the back, and we're not uh, rising up too high. But you can push the floor away a little more, rounding the spine. That helps to protect the spine core. It's gotta be nice and tight here. So here's our plank. Let's take a jackknife. Pressing the ankles down, we're lifting the hips, getting the hips over the shoulders. And then bringing it back out to your plank. Picking it up one more time. And back to your plank. So I'm gonna give you a more advanced modification here if you'd like to take it. Lifting the hips up. Maybe taking one leg up to the sky, pointing up to the toes. This is really good if you're working on handstand practice. This is good uh, practice with the assist of the hammock. Go ahead and bring that leg back down. Coming back into our plank. You're still hanging in there? Hang it in. Bring that right knee down. <laughs> Julie's a powerhouse over here. Yeah. <laughs> Coming back to the forearms, just giving your body a break. You can always bring the arms forward and bring your third eye to the back or the floor. We don't have mats today. Use your breath. Cool your body off. Rising up when you're ready. We're stacking those shoulders over wrists again. Same thing, create that stable base. Straighten that left leg, pressing into the hammock, engaging your core. You're gonna bring that right leg back in, coming back to your plank. So if you chose to do that leg lift with one leg, you're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So lift those hips, stacking them up over the shoulders the best as you can, and take it back out. Oh, you're going right for it. <laughs> I did too. Yeah, <laughs> back up. All right, now I'll join you. Left leg goes up. And bring that leg back down. Make sure you find the hammock. All right, let's take a curl. Both knees open wide to the elbows or the armpits. And then extend those legs. One more curl. You can do it. And then back down. One more. I lied. <laughs> Take it back out. This time, bring that right knee down. Oh, it's the suspension. Woo. Sneaking that in there. You did sneak some suspension <laughs> fitness in here.
Rising back up, stacking those shoulders over those wrists again. No more planks. <laughs> We're going to the other side. So you're going to bring that right foot to the floor, bat on your plumb line. Bend the left knee and look straight ahead. Use your hand on your thigh to help you up. Nice. Take those thumbs to the inside. You can do a reverse grip. Hop back to the plumb line. Make sure you're in the center. Pegasus other side. So shift your weight back. Remember keeping, you can straighten that right leg or you can bend that knee. Shifting your weight forward as you bend that right knee, taking it all the way up. We're gonna take that left leg out. And we're going to bring that hammock around the front. And we're going to shake it out. Make sure the hands all the way open. Placing the thumbs on the inside, you're going to slide those thumbs out wide. We're going to take about three handfuls here. And we're going to walk forward towards our plumb line. Pushing the hammock away in a slack swing. You're going to place the knee inside. So we're not going to bring the hammock all the way to our ankles. We're going to keep the hammock above the knees. So as you reach your arms through the center, you're going to grab that little rolled edge in front, take two handfuls, pull it apart, take your toro toro. Keeping the arms straight, keeping tension in the hammock, pressing down. We're going to start to come in, but try not to get that hammock over uh, beyond the knee. We're going to come to our tube top wrap. Try to get those legs out. You can make adjustments here if you need to. Reach to the sides and pull it up. You just want the hammock above the knees. <laughs> it's tricky. But we can always get there. All right, so we're going to drop the arms. Take an inhale here. Lifting the chest. Squeezing the glutes. And then exhale, drop it down. One more big breath in. Lift the chest. Reach the arms out. And drop it down. This time we're going to take, we're going to bend our knees and bring our feet to the outside edges of the hammock. We're going to take a breath down here and release. We're going to reach back for our ankles if we can grab them. Take another breath in and release. So on the next breath, press the hands into the feet, lift the chest. So the more you press those hands into the feet, the deeper the stretch. One more breath. And release. Bringing the feet to the inside, we're going to use our feet to push the hammock all the way down so that our whole body is supported. And these are fun. <laughs> What are you doing over there? I have no idea. All right, so <laughs> I'm all over the place. <laughs> all right, we're gonna start to lean everything to the left. I have a feeling Julie's gonna be going in circles. <laughs> and the right, and the left. She's a troublemaker. You watch. I'm gonna have the best hula sway. Okay. These are our hula sways. Both of you. <laughs> oh, it's gonna be a competition. <laughs> Count the seconds and see how long you can hold it over to one side. <laughs> Open up, be free. <laughs> Emma, you, you guys lose. got a lot of sway going. I know it. We're, we're having a competition. We're and you're twice our height. And you're just laughing at us. Twice our height. No, Emma's only at least five inches. All right, just bring those arms <laughs> down. <laughs> And let's try to stop leaning so that we don't keep this competition going for an hour. <laughs> I know, because they're going to take us to stop. I don't know, but it feels nice. It does feel nice. Uh -huh. It makes you feel like a kid again. Mm -hmm. So good about it. Bringing your inner child. <laughs> All right. I think we've slowed down enough. We're going to swing that left arm up, grabbing that left side. Take the heel of your hand in and use it to press, push the hammock away. We're going to get our entire body inside. So push it over that other shoulder. We're going to come up onto our side here. Whole body's in. Extend the arms out the hammock and bring your palms together. Make the 
the body nice and long, like you're being pulled from either end. And as you take your next breath in, you're going to arch the back, coming into our silkworm. As you exhale, bend the knees, bend the elbows, and just move with your breath. Inhaling, extending, exhaling, pressing in. And then when you're ready, start to roll all the way onto your back. Either letting those hands hang out the back with the elbows bent, or you can bring those hands and side cross them over your chest or lying them down by your sides, whichever makes you feel more comfortable. This is your cocoon shavasana, your floating shavasana. So let every muscle in the body relax, giving all your weight to the hammock. And give it like a hug from your head to your toes. Eyes closed. Just let go.